Ladies and gentlemen, the spirit of Christmas is well and truly here, and we are ready to go once again with another video with me in this absolutely stupid elf costume that I decided to wear for the enjoyment of all of your faces and people that I record videos with. Today, we have something special yet again. We have day four of the advent calendar for Squad Builder Showdown. And of course, we wouldn't be able to do that without the man, Mr. Andros. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Very excited. 21 days till Christmas, mate. It is. I'm looking forward to it, mate. It's my favourite time of the year. Absolutely love a bit of Christmas. I haven't put a, like a Christmas hat on Post Malone's head just yet, but I've, I've promised the guys watching this I will put it on him at some point. Maybe even one on Gengar too, because he's just sat there. But lovely. What about you, mate? What's your favourite part of Christmas? I don't think I've ever asked you that. Like, what, what's, what's favourite part of Christmas? Oh, yeah. Put you on the spot. You've put early. me on the spot there, actually. I have. I've absolutely put you on the spot. <laughs> See, because there's so many things you could say. You could say the run-up to Christmas where you wake up and get a chocolate every morning. Oh, it's a life. True. You could Everybody say, loves an advent calendar. Buying people presents and seeing them happy when you give them. You could say Christmas dinner. You could say... Going to the Christmas markets as well. Do you want to know a proper deep kind of sad one? Yes. I'm all for it, mate. Doing absolutely nothing and not feeling bad about it for once. True. You know, uh, but the thing is, we can definitely relate to that on so many levels. Usually, <laughs> Even when if it's I not have a day off, us. I'm like, could be recording, could be starting videos, could be doing this, could be doing... And I just never yeah. actually really have a day off ever. But... Yeah. Christmas. Like it, yeah. Christmas. It feels like a good excuse to, to be like, oh, I can actually it's sit... It's just Christmas, and, and isn't it? Like, if you do today. literally nothing, no one else in the yeah. country is doing anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you don't That's feel like right. you're missing out on anything and you're just having a great day with your family and potentially exactly. friends as well. So we absolutely love that. I think. I love that, mate. I think that's why I used to like, well, I say used to like, I think that's why I do like skiing so much, but that's why I initially loved it so much is yeah. because not only when I first went skiing, did you not used to get free data roaming in Europe? Ah, which we're also you, losing soon. We are also losing soon. <laughs> which is really sad. Also, yeah. a lot of the time you just don't have signal anyway because you're on top of a mountain. True, actually, yeah. So, so, you, so you kind of cut off from the world anyway. Couldn't, yeah. I just couldn't go on the internet or go on social media or do any work or anything because I'm just on a mountain skiing. So it's just like, well, can't think about where because I can't do any anyway. True. See, it's even better when you have the excuse of not being able to. Like it's it's physically out of your control, yeah, well, which is great, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We absolutely love to see it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as Andy's just answered the, the question as well, let us know in the comments section what your favourite part about Christmas is, whether it be the food, the markets, the presents, and all that good stuff. I would love to know. But today, we are doing Ollie Gunner Solskjaer for day four of the Squad Builder Showdown Advent Calendar. Now, th this one's a little bit deep for myself. I do absolutely love Ollie Gunner Solskjaer. I think every Man United fan out there will say that, yes, he was out of his depth, but he gave it all for the club because he loves us so much, and that's what we want. But probably for you and every other fan of the Premier League, you're probably sad to see him. Funny, even it, more yeah. sad to see funny. him go, yeah. Do you know the most crazy thing about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for me? Go on, then. His accent. Ooh, that's a new one. What what, what makes it, like, Because he sounds peculiar. half mank, half... Yeah, true, actually. ...finish. It's probably... It's, like, so off-putting. Are you expecting to speak? <laughs> and then sound no, no, like, like I don't know, sound like uh, someone speaking English as a second language, but then he yeah. like flits between sounds like that and sounds like proper Scandinavian again. And then no, go like back proper to mank. mank. Going mank, <laughs> but yeah. switching between mank and Scandinavian. To be fair, other than when you've just pointed that out, I don't think I don't think I've ever ever have noticed, you not that, noticed really. that. I think he nah, sounds. I actually have Proper mind blowing in interviews. Interesting. I'm gonna have to go back and watch have like a, a couple of his interviews now and be like. Oh my god, I didn't realise that he did that. Yeah, that's that's a proper weird one, but it, I, I do feel sorry for him in a way because of like you have some fans that take it that one step too far and it turns into abuse for someone that cares so much about the club. If it was a bit different, like where we had a manager that obviously was just not good enough and didn't care, that would be a lot worse. But because it is someone who has given so much for the club as well, I feel like it's a little bit more of the, on the sad side. But anyway. I feel like we're hopefully going to be in a better place. As of recording this video, it looks like Ralph Ragnick's going to be taking over as interim manager till the end of the season. So who knows what's going to happen, but we're going to use this foot hero, Solskjaer. Andy, before I quit jibber-jabbering and waffling on too much, uh, what formation would you like to start this episode with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, good sir? 
I'll have four, three, two, one. Fine, you can have it. I wrote down the four, three, three. What would you like? I would like the four, triple, two, please, sir, if that's okay with yourself. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> and on that bombshell, it's time to go and get three, into one, some... four, two. Wait, no, what? Wait, no, wait. Did you actually write that down? It's four, triple, two. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> nah, it's Andy, no, you two. haven't. <laughs> oh, it's already started. Oh, I'm angry. Oh, no, I'm going to have to use... Started on good form for day four. Oh, so not only am I in some stupid outfit again, I've got to use Ollie, who I'm crying over every day because he, he was crying in his ending interview. And now I've got to use the 3142. Yes. Well, I think it's time to go and get into some forward picks and I need to try and get some redemption, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, myself and Andy will be back when we've got some of those written down and got some of those in our team. So, ladies and gentlemen, after that absolute bombshell of uh, Andy getting my formation and me being stuck with the 3142 today, uh, hopefully I can redeem myself a little bit in going into the squad building phase. But, uh, Andy, would you like to uh, go first or second, mate? I can go first if you want, mate. Oh, go for it then, mate. Let's, let's hear it. Who would you like? Hopefully I managed to get both of them. Did you know, actually, I've got an uncanny ability to be able to detect deep holes of water. I did not. Yeah, yeah, I was telling my mate about it. And he's like, that is the worst superpower in the world. And I was like, yeah, I'm well aware. <laughs> Lovely. I'll have Sadio Mane, please. It's All right. Nice dad joke for you. And on the other side, I will have my red foot champs, Rafinha. Interesting couple of picks, Andy, mate. I did write down a Liverpool winger. Salah. Yep. And on the other side, I went for Son. So you may have them both, good sir. And, Very nice. Uh, oh, that means you've got a full attack next to Solskjaer. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So your three attackers are going to be up against my three centre-backs. Lovely. Not ideal whatsoever. Right. For myself then, mate, I am going to go for a man that will have an upgraded card soon. Timo Werner. Ooh, the Champions League one. Uh, I think I might actually have to... I'm going to have to double-check how much he is. One but, million coins, mate. Ah, it's Christmas time. We'll go You're for doing it, mate. It. Why go not? On, yeah, why not? It's Christmas, you know? If I lose it, then I can make another one in the workshop, you know? So it's fine. <laughs> I respect oh, it. Self-deprivation. I initially that is Oh, okay. Well, wait, you initially... Hang on. And the road is not clear yet. Out. No, you haven't. I put Haaland. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought you, I genuinely thought you were about to tell me that you've written down Werner then. And I was genuinely about to have tears live on this video. <laughs> nah. Erling Haaland. Thought you'd go sneaky little nation link across Bundesliga one side, Prem the other. Uh, oh, yeah. That, that, that would make a lot of sense, to be fair. It would make a lot of sense. Well, we've both can come away unscathed with our attacks, but our midfields. Oh, dear. This could be another story. Um, confident about your midfield being picked or not guessed? I think so. I mean, hmm. I'm not playing 3-1-4-2, three, three, am I? So my midfield's going to be better than yours regardless of what happens. This is very true. And uh, where things get a lot more nervy for me. And I have no idea how it's going to pan out. But I'm sure we will find out uh, when we're back in a moment. Right then, we are back and ready to get into my three-man midfield and Andy's. Um, I think I'm going to make you laugh on this one, mate. Uh, for, so for my right centre mid, um, I'd like a man that's been a little bit neglected, to be honest with you. Um, I feel a little bit sorry for him. 
that he's probably absolutely over the moon that he's gone. I'm going for Donny van der Beek at right centre mid, mate. Nice. Um, in at CDM, I'm going to go for Scott McTominay. And uh, left centre mid, I'm going to go uh, and complete the, the trifecta and complete McFred. I'm going to go for Champions League Fred. You're going full McFred? <laughs> I'm going full McFred and van der Beek just for the memes. Good. <laughs> Can I expect if you've written that Ben down. Show at right mid? Um, I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> Although it would be quite funny if I did. Fair I enough. It? I respect it. Aye, Pekebs. Very, very smartly. I had, I was already in the process of writing it down, but Pekebs goes, just to confirm, Oli got a soul shine doesn't count as a hero or icon. <laughs> I put Pep I did have Guardiola. To make sure. <gasps> Guardiola. The way to do this squad is... This formation, sorry, is to put an icon at CDM. Yes. It's the best way I to have get chemistry. Fred. You have... You, okay, you've got Fred not as bad. I thought you had McTominay. So you've got a double strong link to Fred. And then, obviously, you can get yeah. one Brazilian link. And he's like, okay, so it's not terrible. I just put Goretzka and... Ooh. Tielemans. Ooh. So you can have them all. Taylor I mean, very Van der Beek and McTominay are interesting picks when you're playing. Oh, yeah, like, they're absolutely... Uh, but I feel like because it's a Soul Shower episode, I'm never going to be able to have this feeling of a meme of McFred Fair. and Van der Beek in the team ever again. <laughs> so I felt like I had to use the moment, you know? Okay. But... Yeah, I respect it. I respect Well, uh, I'm glad I get to keep them. I, I mean, I'd be very surprised if you went down the meme route that I did and wrote them down, but you never know. Who would you like, though, good sir? I am going to go in the centre for Adrissa Garner Gay. Very interesting. Getting that okay. Senegalese link. Interesting pick. On the left, I'm going to go Rule Breakers Verratti. Cheeky little SBC. Very nice. And on the right, I need a Brazilian from the Ligue. I could go Paqueta, who does actually, he has a centre mid card, so he's a legal pick, and then could upgrade to his player of the month. Player of the month. However, I haven't got around to do an SBC yet, so I don't think I can be bothered. So I'm just going to go Thiago Mendes. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Um, I wrote down for you, Alan! Fred and Casemiro. I thought you were going to go quite bold Brazil over the over the midfield three um, and then do something else. But no, I was not expecting the Adrissa Gay pick at all. What a man. But what a player. You absolutely love him as well, and I completely forgot. Absolutely forgot about it. Well, two good midfields, if I do say so myself. I mean, not every day you get to use McFred in a squad builder showdown, guys. You know how it is. But I think it's time for Andy's fullbacks and my left mid, right mid. So we'll be back when we've got those ready to go. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, into my left mid, right mid, and Andy's fullbacks. Uh, Andy, I believe it is your turn to go next, good sir. Who would you like? All right. I got a 50-50, I think, on the left-hand side. I think you've either written Spinozola or Moonmensch. Don't know what to do, I'll be honest with you. In a bit of a pickle. I wanna go I I wanna go Spinazola because interest in squad, but I wanna go Noon Mensch to keep my players. So then I'm thinking, do I go neither and pick like Kamara or even is this a Marvia SBC? Or an, I mean I'd, if he was an SBC, I'd have him. Is he an objective? Or can Don't you think so, no. I think you can just buy him. market. I believe you can, yeah. You can. I can hear the brain ticking. I'm scared. I'm gonna go noon mensch. Lovely. Who would you like a right back? It doesn't sound very lovely. <laughs> at right back. There's options again. Hakimi, Traore, Atal. Surely you've written down because it's the advent calendar. Claws. Surely. 
So I'm going to take Europa Conference League Triore. Well then, my friend. Couple of interesting picks you've got there. Because at right back, I wasn't in a Christmassy, uh, Christmassy way. And uh, I, I did write down Triore. Oh, dear. Oh, this. No, 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 And he's now bricking the fact of a potential dirty double on the cards. And he was toying between the 50-50 of Spinozola or Nunmensch. And on this occasion, Andy, you got away with it. I wrote down Spinozola. I was getting ready to get up and walk out then. <laughs> oh, Dirty Double would have been absolutely fantastic then as well. So, uh, <sighs> frustrating to say the least. But I get to give you a right back. And you know what? I think I might give you my trump card. Okay. And I'm literally... Ooh, what should I give you? Hmm... Which one should we give Andy? You know what, Andy? I'm not going to fall for your terrible dad jokes anymore. You can have him. If that's quite okay. Okay, yeah. I was looking for him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, uh, uh, his name is uh, Four. Yeah, I, I got four. him. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm on your wavelength. Okay. Lovely. There we go. All right. Not bad. One out of two, we take it. We've got a step in the right direction. Hopefully, I get to keep my my players here. Would you like to know who uh, I want then, Andy? I would love to know who you want, Mr. Kerbs. Kraken. Right mid. I am not going to go for Bencho. As much as I would love to, I can't do it. Because um, you've probably got him written down. And if you haven't, then I'm a fool. Uh, but in at right mid, I would like to go for team of the week, Ishmael Asar, if that's okay. Go for him, six foot one. I need a bit of pace down that right side. And down the left side, I'm going to have the dinner man himself, Rashi. Please. So you've got Man United on the left, but not on the right. I haven't made, no. on the I... right, but not on the left. Yep. So I put Inform Foden. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And then <laughs> did you actually did you actually write down Sancho? <laughs> I didn't write Bencho. Oh dear. I wrote Sancho. Oh, lovely. Let's go. We've managed to like big brain double block. You've and big brain me it up. twice now. Let's go. We love to see it. Playing mind games. Hey, listen. Out of the two of us, you are definitely the smarter out of us two. So the fact that I'm living rent free up there right now is bliss. <sighs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. That's a that's a win in itself for me. So we absolutely love that. Well, ladies and gents, that's our left mid, right mid, left back, right back's done. It is time for my back three and goalkeeper, and Andy's back two and keeper. This I feel like is going to get a little bit tasty. We'll be back after in a moment. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the final guesses of today's episode. Andy, for the final time today, who would you like? In your back two and the goalkeeper. Trying to be as sneaky as possible, yeah. Because you have just taken away my full back. We've got a stinky midfield. And there's the potential to exploit that as long as I have a decent-ish team. Okay. So, on the left-hand side, I'm going to go for new featured team of the week, Tyrone Mings. Okay. In goal. Nick Pope. And then, to get everyone full chemistry, at right centre-back, I was going to go for Rio Ferdinand, because also, Man United, played a volley, etc, etc. <laughs> oh, God. That's just, oh, you've just reminded me of the quote. Oh, dear. And you know... You know what he said. <laughs> oh, Man United won't thank me for saying. Oh no, I can't, I'm not. I can't even bring myself to say it. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it to myself. 
but I'll go for Sol Campbell instead. Very nice, mate. Um, I wasn't. It it was, I won't even to lie go. to you. <laughs> yeah, get the contract out. To be fair, put it on the table. Let him write whatever numbers he wants. Yeah. <laughs> You've also as well. Oh. Uh, You've got. Do you know what that saw got that inform for? Unfortunately, I do. Getting Ollie sacked. Missing. Mate. Yeah, missing two penalties and getting Ollie sacked. That's why it's even more poetic that he's in the team, really. And that's why Van der Beek's in there. He scored the last goal of of, uh, of his tenure as well. So. It's like a bit of a meme going on here, there, and bleeding everywhere, shall we say. Wait, but, Saul missed uh, two penalties in that game that he's lost 5-1. Yep. So it could have been 7-1. Well, what, it was a re one was retaken. So the first penalty, De Gea saved, and then Feminia scored the rebound, but okay, he was sure. um, encroaching the area. So then it got retaken, and then De Gea saved it again. And then, yeah. Jeez. We were just... And then yeah, he lost 5-1 we anyway. Awful. It was four, but not to sugarcoat it. Yeah, it was, it was still quite it was a four. Rough... Yeah, I turned it off at three one. I was already just tilted at the time, and I had Hefty and James laughing at me. So um, yeah, we'll just say that was the end of that, and my uh, Saturday evening was uh, in the mud. So anyway, uh, I wrote down for you, mate. Marquinhos, Eder Militao, and Donnarumma. I didn't know how you were going to do that defence, but you went for Rem. So yeah. Kind of, uh, kind of a bit stuck on that one, but well done. Full defense for yourself, and now I'm very worried because I would love all four of my last few players. But are you ready, good sir? Yes, I also have one crossed out because of my chat, my stream chat. Wanted to change, I guess. And I'll, do you know what? I'll let them. And if they're right, shout out to the chat. And if they're wrong, never listen to never the chat at... again. <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. We love to see it. Okay, we'll start off with my left centre-back, and I'm going to go for a French centre-back, a man that everybody hates on this game. Nobody tell Danny Aarons I'm using him. It is Kim Pembe. I need a huge defence here, and uh, having the best centre-back on the game is probably a good idea. My middle centre-back, I'm also going to go for an icon, a former Manchester United player as well. I'm going to go for Laurent Blanc. At right centre back, we're going to continue the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer meme. We're going to go for the final transfer that he made at United. We're going to go for Rafa Varane. And in goal, I'm not going to go for Donnarumma. I'm going to switch it up one further. We're going to go for a cheeky little Kalor Navas. Well, I and the chat were very far away on that one. Well, oh. Oh, okay. very far away. <laughs> I did write down okay. an icon, and it was a former Man United one. Unfortunately, well, I've far too many by the Ah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. The chat told me to cross out Delict. I put Kula Bali because of the Sarling. Oh, the Senegalese link. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Okay. And then I put Varane and Handanovic. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't put down Varane, have you? <laughs> nah, you haven't wrote, nah, you haven't wrote down Varane, have you? Andy? Oh. <laughs> oh, it was all going so well. Oh, this is going to be a trump cut. Oh, I know exactly who I'm getting. Okay. Who would you like to give me, Andy? It does get cold around Christmas, mate. It does. And when it gets cold, the nips come out. Oh. Okay. Uh, um, I thought you were going to go down a different avenue of putting the heating on uh, for heating, but okay. Oh, okay. oh that would work because um, <laughs> you could put the heating on, but nah, you can get the nips out. You're fantastic. Right. Uh, the, the, the nips are well and truly out in the team and oh, my defence looked absolutely wonderful up until that point as well. I felt like with Kimpembe, Blanc and Varane, I, I'd, I'd be safe. You know I'd what have a say? good day at the office. Get the team out. Let Andy write down as many guesses as he wants. Just discard them all. Deary, deary me. Well, those are your completed teams, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you have enjoyed the squad building phase. It is time for myself and Andy to go to war two, one, at four, Christmas two, time. Eight. Exactly, mate. Two, That's what we're going to have to four, do. Two. Mm, hopefully Ariola can have an absolute stormer. Let's go find out, shall we? Right, mate, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's have at it. Hopefully, Ollie is going to carry me and McFred won't be awful. I, feel I already like... see you going to... 
<laughs> I see you going towards Ariola. That is not nice. <laughs> there he is. There he was. Oh, Lord. Uh, don't worry, Matt. I got Fred. It's fine. And quite <gasps> like in real life, people just walk past him. Yeah, I did literally walk past him. But he got in the way. <laughs> no. Oh, well done, Kalo Navas. Oh, she fell over his own legs. That must have been a foul ref. Good save, <sighs> Nick. Good old Come on, Ollie, Nick. mate. Go on, then, Rockers. Uh, I, I just called him Rockus. Oh, God, I hate myself. Go on, Rockus. <laughs> no, leave Ariola alone. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Ah, oh, that's not the start I needed. Oh, I'm being Naruto'd. Oh, oh he's only going to sell Oh, no, no, no. That's a really good finish, actually. It was, actually. I love the <laughs> interesting pun that you just made as well. <laughs> Hello, Timo. He's in. Well. Well, Idrissa Gay's just had an absolute nightmare. My defence just passed <laughs> like the Red Sea, didn't it? Yes, they did. They saw Timo Werner. I've got the Leipzig version, you see, from uh, before he was at Chelsea. So he can <laughs> actually put it in the back me. of the net. Uh, some of them were just... <laughs> they're all running away. Scared of the man. <laughs> oh, hello, Timo. No one's catching him. Why is he taking the a... Pope oh, is... my God. Oh No, that was Donny to Ollie! Donny to no. Ollie. <laughs> the fact that his name's actually Donny. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? Literally. There? He's kind oh. of funny. Who's this Donny? It yeah, is, literally. It? <laughs> oh no, that's a oh, god, what a save. Oh! Van der Beek! No! Oh my god, I can't believe it. We've Oh hello. Hello. Oh, Kaylor Navas, Kaylor, Kaylor, no, Kaylor, Navas. so bad. It's no. <laughs> Thiago Mendes as well. Yeah, that's an awful finish. What is Kaylor Navas doing? Oh no! Good ball. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Oh god, that's awful keeping in it. Oh, he's got sixty-seven shooting. Shut up, <laughs> Shut up <laughs> Donald, mate. Oh, I actually should off. Oh. Go on then, Timo. What a save. Don't mess oh, with the Pope on Christmas. <laughs> Pope needs to get away. Yes. Oh, my God. That's... Oh, go on, Fall. Defending. Is he really just out jumping in Pembe? <laughs> no! Fred, don't roll! Just like real life. What are you doing? Oh, and he can't, he can't run back. Oh, it's a finish. Oh, God. We've been countered. Oh. <laughs> Good old Ollie. Store, score in stoppage time. It's what he does in it. It's just at the wrong end of the... It's at the end of the wrong half. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, this has gone so badly. Oh, oh dear. I feel like United right now. We're playing very mediocre football and we're just getting absolutely battered. Look at your expected goals tomorrow. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Don't mess and with the Pope at Christmas, mate. <laughs> oh. Ollie. Oh Big my god! Save. No. Oh my god! That intercept. Oh. Pen ref. Ollie. Oh, he's trash. Oh my god! Don't he's worry. Oh my god! I didn't. It wasn't even remotely close. But oh, 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 oh. okay. All right. Yes, Ollie. Three sixty. No that, anger. that didn't he? Hey, FIFA nineteen, mate. It's back. Oh, what save! That's a wow. Finish from Manny. Oh no. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh my god! My god! Your man. Uh, ref, that's a oh. back pass. And a penalty. <laughs> oh, he's giving it the other way as well. What? <laughs> nice. Let's go, ref. Oh, God. Keeps, keeps. Ke Jesus, what is he? Oh, God. <gasps> oh, yeah, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> thank God. Yes, I'll Oh, wait. Keep it in. It's got Sable. Ah, oh, despicable. Oh, yes. Swing it in. Oh, they got it. <laughs> oh, no. This is where it goes, Pete Tong. Yes, That's a long key. ref. Play on, ref. Oh, that's offside. He's got to be off. Are you having... He, this ref's having me on. I don't know. How is he not off? I swear he's run back from an offside position. Let's have a look. Oh, of Kim course Pembe I don't get the replay. On. A terrible finish oh. as well. Don't know what Navas is doing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go on, fall. Re that ref that no, has to be a red. he's got the ball. Is, You're that. a joke, ref. You are a joke. Well, that, I'll say that's an awful challenge, that. That's at least a red. I didn't even press tackle, I pressed pass. No, give me Fred! Oh, for 
Christ's sake! Oh no, that. <laughs> oh, oh money! <laughs> Go. Oh. Yes! It There's no ref sign either. <laughs> No, not like this. No. Oh, thank <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Oh, just the way the ball was looping. I was like, nah, don't do this to me. Oh, Scott McTominay. Uh, well, um, ladies and gents, it turns out that playing McFred in real life and in FIFA is Terrible really idea. bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's an awful idea. Uh, but uh, GG, Sandy, you win 4-2 on today. And um, I have two discards coming my way. I have to say, I thought Kalor Navas was really, really good. Turns out, he's awful. <laughs> yeah. And he's let me down quite Big a lot. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, is but... the understatement of the Advent calendar so far, mate. I do agree, mate. I do. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. I've got two discards coming my way. Do you want to know your expected goals? Oh, yeah, go on. Why not? I'll tell you mine first. Mine was three. Okay. And I got four, which makes sense with Caitlin Navas' howler. Absolutely. You scored twice and your expected goals? 6.6. .6. Oh, dear. That's <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, that's just a joke, isn't it? Like, for God's sake. Okay, then, my friend. Uh, you have two discards... And two discards only. Three, one, four, two. Yes, mate. And you've got the potential for UCL Timo Werner, UCL Fred, uh, mid icon Laurent Blanc. Some good cards in here. All right, let's go. Left mid. Yep. And left centre back. <laughs> We've got away with it. Scott McTominay is at left centre back. And left mid is Kim Pembe. Bit of a pain for one. Right stick him into back. Laurent Blanc. And so if you'd done the opposite side, that would have been Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Laurent Blanc. Brilliant. Fred was in CDM. Timo Werner was in goal. We've got away with it quite a lot in this one today. So we absolutely love to see it. I need to put Kim Pembe into an SBC and we'll be back in just a moment. Right then, we are back. Kimpembe and a bunch of other league and rares are going into an 81 plus double upgrade. And he has gone. Ladies and gents, if you have enjoyed today's uh, day four of the Advent uh, Squad Butter Showdown calendar, even though that should probably be said differently, please make if sure to leave a like rating. Subscribe. If you calendar are new enjoy well. Advent Builder Showdown. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just the English just did not work. Like, at smash all there. button. <laughs> Next see you time. <laughs> episodes check other channels <laughs> check channel others <laughs> but yeah like i said leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you do make sure to go check out all the other episodes that are going on over everyone's channels and uh, any final words andy bye good <laughs> love it see you later <laughs>